Alright, I have here an unboxing of the Galaxy Z Fold 5 in the icy blue. This is the 256 gig model. Uh, Best Buy had them on sale today for 1500 and I thought, you know what, maybe now it's time to pull the trigger. I always wanted to get a folding phone for many, many months now. Uh, even years, like with the other versions. But I never really thought about getting one until now so i'm not really like a phone person uh all my phones i usually just buy refurbished from ebay uh like here is my s8 which i bought for like a few hundred dollars and then currently recording this video is my s20 plus which i also bought refurbished from ebay for a few hundred so this is one of like the very few times that i'm actually buying a brand new phone that uh I thought if I'm going to buy a folding phone, I want to at least get it brand new so I have the warranty and all that stuff. Okay. Here is some kind of quick start guide. Now it only comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable. There's no actual charging adapter. Here's the SIM card thing. And here's the phone. Look at that, it's wrapped in paper. And there it is. So this is my first folding device ever. And so far the hinge is actually really sturdy. Okay guys, so all I did was I turned it off and put in the old SIM card from my current phone that I'm using to record and put it in there. And I also remember that I currently have an SD card, so I'm gonna have to transfer all those files using the Samsung Smart Switch because, from what I heard, this does not have the expandable storage. So this is actually my first boot. Um, I just booted it up and then it told me I needed to configure my new uh, SIM card, so here it is. This is just, you know, basic setup. Can I actually open it right now? Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, so here it is. Okay, change of plans. I was recording from the S21, and then all of a sudden it told me to copy my data. I assume, because like, usually I copy data using the smart switch with the USB-C to, like, using the cable. But now it's doing it wirelessly, so. Change of plans, I'm recording on my S8. So I'm probably just going to finish the setup and then... I'll get back to you after because there's a lot of stuff going on. Okay, so it's actually doing the thing now with the Samsung Smart Switch. So, yeah, it's transferring cable to cable, and I'm just letting it do its thing right now. So, it's still going. I think it's about 90%. It's a little, I'm a little dumb dumb. I read online that the Smart Switch can transfer files from SD cards, and I was wondering why there was no. Like, I didn't see the option to transfer the files from my SD card to the new phone. And it's because my SD card is not even plugged in. I When I took the SIM card out, I just totally forgot to put it back in. But so far, yeah, honestly, this gap is not very noticeable. It's very, very minor. Uh, by gap, I mean like that screen crease. Alright, so it's actually been a few days already since I've opened this for the first time. So I've been using it basically daily, and so far I really love this phone. This is my first folding phone, as I've said before, and it's like a really, really different, cool experience compared to a usual phone where you just, you know, have that one slab. This one is... It kind of makes, obviously, multitasking so much easier uh, because you have so much space. And 
even when you're just looking at photos, watching videos, it's so much nicer and bigger. And honestly, when you're watching content, you don't really notice that crease. But even, not even when I'm watching content, like using it in general, I don't really notice the crease. And it like looks pretty flat, honestly. If I sound tired, it's because I literally just woke up like 10 minutes ago. Uh, so I thought I'd just give a little update on how things are going. Um, but yeah, I really love it so far. I'm still waiting for a case. Uh, I ordered one off of eBay for like $9. I don't like, I keep complaining about the phone case prices, which are like 50 to $60. And I know that's like a trivial amount of money to anyone spending like 1800 1500 on a phone. But I don't know, to me, that's just... The phone is already really expensive, right? Like fifteen to eighteen hundred dollars. I feel like at that sh at that price, this should even come with the phone case, or and especially that uh, Samsung the S Pen. So the fact that it doesn't, I mean, that's already kind of you know, and it doesn't even come with a charging adapter, only the cable. So yeah, for fifteen hundred dollars, it literally came with nothing but this phone, in like a cardboard box. So. That's a little disappointing, but I mean, at least I got it on discount because I don't, I really wouldn't have bought this if it costed any more. Uh, but so far, I'm loving it, and I don't think I could go back to a regular slab phone after this. But who knows? We'll see. Uh, just because of how nice using a bigger screen is, and it makes everything so much easier to read, interact with. Uh, the front screen is a little smaller, as people have said, and it's okay for me interacting on here, but still, when you're trying to, like, type, it is kind of small. It folds completely flat. Um, I ordered a clear phone case off of eBay for, like, $9, so waiting for that, but for now, I'm going to run caseless. If you guys are interested, I definitely will do uh, long-term reviews on this phone. Kind of like how I do a lot of long-term re uh, reviews on a lot of different products like uh, my laptops and other stuff. Earphones, headphones, whatever. So I definitely can do a long-term review on this if you guys want. Yeah, I can do like a one-year review, you know, two-year review if I've still had this at that point. Which I most likely will, since I usually don't upgrade that often. So far, I think I'm going to stay foldable from here on out. So, yeah, that's it for this quick video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll answer it. And I'll get back to you soon. And I'll see you guys in the next video.